Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King, King of endless glory. Lord be with you, and we with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? And Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. This is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. And since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Indeed, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I find myself always uh, in great pause with this particular Gospel and that final line. So my Heavenly Father will do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from the heart. Ooh -wee. All of us, I think, can call up things that have happened, people that have hurt us, things that have been done, things that were said, things that were omitted, all of us, all of us. And part of the question for us, especially growing in the love of Jesus Christ, is to be able to first lay all that bare to him on the cross, especially. With all, just let him have it, all of it. Give it to him. But then, in all truth, being touched by the love of the cross, of Jesus on the cross, to truly forgive our brother or our sister from our hearts. And that's the hearts that are filled with the love of Christ. That's the challenge. That's the real challenge. Um, so it's a grace we are called to pray for, and it's a grace I think we're called to live. St. Peter, of course, thought he had it figured out. How many times should I forgive my brother or sister? Seven times? And Jesus said, oh, no, no, no. Seventy-seven times, which is meaning always, always. As we receive his body and blood, Let's take him into ourselves. Let's have him touch our hearts that are open to him, especially in forgiveness. And let us truly find the strength, the courage that we need to forgive our brother or sister from the heart.